It's the 31st of February 2016 and it's a leap year. And I'm at uh, Coxide or Embankment Road catching up with Plymouth Graffiti artists. What's your name? I'm, I write Raid. You write Raid? Yeah. And how long have you been doing graffiti art? About eight or nine years, I think. And you, were tra- you, you studied at the College of Art and Design in Plymouth? Yeah, I did an illustration there. And what was that like? Three years. Um, it's good. It's good work in so briefs. Uh-huh. Um, not so much freedom to do what you want. Well, but, um, they can take your ideas away, actually, because uh, many years ago I was talking to, to David Bailey's agent, and I was boasting that it was at uh, the College of Art and Design, <clears throat> and they said, well, what do you do, what do, you go to college for? Because all they do is put you in a red way of thinking yeah. to make briefs. I'd agree with that. But uh, I use the facilities for my own work anyway, so I, I just extended, you know. Yeah. So what, so what artists are you influenced by, then? Um, a lot of European graffiti writers I like. Yeah. Um, yeah, as well as the contemporary illustration. Um, I like limited colours, I like simple things. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'd say, things like that. So how did you get into it? Well, when I was a lot younger, I went to a workshop for a day. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and there was, like, a lot of writers there painting and I had a chance to have a go and then just done it ever since. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. So where are you based now? I'm based in um, Barnes, Barnes School, so yeah, North Devon. And you do commercial work? Yeah, I dabble in commercial work as well, wow. which is good. I enjoy both. I prefer to paint my own stuff. Yeah. Um, just freedom, just good fun. Have you got Facebook? I don't have Facebook, <laughs> no. Have you got any, uh, any contacts for your artwork? Um, I've got Instagram. Uh huh. What's your Instagram? Um, Raid752. Uh huh. So Raid the letters and 752 numbers. Cool. Yeah, then you could always, like, people are welcome to go and check it out. Might be something on there they like. Well, it's a nice day for for doing some artwork anyway. Yeah, perfect day. Even though it's a bit cool. Yeah, I've always. Sounds burning through now. I've taken note of your videos, Chris, the past couple of years. Oh, cheers. Doing a good job, like... Well, somebody self-touched my website last year and I lost a thousand hearing. videos, so I've had to put them back up again. Oh, wicked. So it's, uh, it's cool. So I've, got, I've still got some old ones to, uh, to put back up. Yeah, right. Well, thanks a lot for your time anyway. Uh, yeah, no problem. It's good, like, I'll good covering the thing. area and covering the scene of graffiti and what people are doing. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. Good luck with your work. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thank you.
Hello there, what's your name? You're from Poland? Yeah, yeah, from Poland. So how long have you been doing graffiti? Um, been like since I'm 13. Yeah. I'm obviously 33. Uh -huh. So, been years and years. And you were in Newcastle before you came down to Plymouth? Yeah, I've been painting in the rover as well. Uh -huh. So what brought you down to Plymouth? Uh, mainly the nice city, good people around, uh -huh. you know. You've been doing much graffiti work in Plymouth now. Sorry? You've been, been doing much graffiti art in Plymouth? Quite a lot I, I did recently, like, but obviously when it's bad weather we don't do nothing. So yeah. then we're painting for canvases, we do quite a few canvases and stuff like this. Yeah. At home. Are you working commercially? Sorry? Are you working commercially in art? No, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm a chef. So that is more like hobby and love, you know? Yeah. Are there many walls to work on in front? No, it's only a few walls, what is legal. Yeah. And obviously, if you want to risk, you do get some caught. Set, set places really, couldn't you? Yeah, it's only like three or four places in Plymouth. Uh -huh. What I don't think is enough yeah. at all. So people get like covered very quick. Yeah. Yeah, the, well, I mean, the, uh, the trend is to go over, if you're a better artist, to go over the, uh, the stuff that your class is being wicked than yours, isn't it? Yeah, it's all different styles. It's no like saying this is shit or this is shit. People have That's different style. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's any shit graffiti around, you know? It's a shame, really. But I mean, that's part of graffiti anyway. It's transient, yeah. isn't it? So it's I think like if, if we be allowed to do legally everywhere, like where is where is good place to do, that would be a lot better walls. than... Yeah, yeah. Because they used to. I mean, Breckenside bus station uh, was once commissioned yeah. Uh, for graffiti art, but there seems to be a lot. Of, uh, there's a lot of students going through the colleges of art in Plymouth. Yeah. But there's still very little facilities uh, for street artists. That's uh, true. Place. That's true, and that's why people going and painting street, and uh, when people don't have time to paint. Yeah. That's what happen. Is is coming pieces what people don't like really, and yeah. the, the classic classificate as like vandalism and stuff. Yeah. But if you allow artists to impress themselves, that will not happen, you know, that much. So. Yeah. And what's your tag name? Uh, it's she's all. Uh -huh. Have you got Facebook? Uh, I have Facebook. Yes. And how do you spell your uh, name? Uh, S H I Z O L. She's all. Okay. Thanks very much for that. Anyway. Thank you.
This has been a Chris Summerfield Media Production 2016. You can sponsor me, sponsor me and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSummerfield at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow Plymouth Graffiti Artists on Facebook. And thanks to Silent Routine at Nowhere In, Plymouth. <laughs>